Um, and uh, I did say I'd check ministers as well. Somebody pointed out that one of the ministers, uh, diplomatic relations, plus two bonus, minus three's cost of turn watch, that's okay. Minus five land, ah, this one. What's that? Plus six recruitment costs for all land units in this region. Plus five upkeep costs for all army units. Now somebody said check them and see, you know, if they've got any um, sort of plus one to management. No, there's nothing there in particular. Um, this one has picked up mistresses and tailor and all sorts of things, isn't it? Um, this one, it would have been nice to have somebody there who's got, you know, some naval skill, but um, no, nothing there at all. So I'm going to change the army one. Uh, well done to whoever told me that uh, that he needed to be kicked. And we've got absolutely nothing in return, but at least we're not um, paying out all of that, you know, for, um, you know, plus six the cost of um, army units, etc. Uh, now then, see what else we can spend some of this money on. We're letting Italy go, like I say. I don't think it's worth... well, I can't get any more buildings in there anyway, so... Right, I'm going to have a think about that one then, and then come back with um, some plans on spending... Uh, 34,732, and I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't include getting some ships. I wonder if we can get any of the steam ones yet. Now, the first thing I must remember to do is get those uh, troops out of Galicia, those French troops. Um, if I can find the place over here. I need to get rid of these. Uh, these ones here, of course. Uh, we're suffering a bit with some of these troops, actually. Some of them need to be replenished. But I want them out of here anyway. I want them moving on. I don't want them sat here at the back somewhere. So I'm just going to take those out quickly. A very small number in there. Do that. Speed that up a bit. Um, see, it's pretty poor. Pretty poor, isn't it? Really? I, I should really send the Jaegers in to fire at them from a distance, shouldn't I? I think, to be quite honest with you, I need to fight this one. He's got no artillery whatsoever. I should be able to get out of this one without suffering any effects whatsoever. Um, it's going to be a bit boring to watch though. You can imagine, you know, sort of three lots of Jaegers up front there, supported by cavalry on each wing, just um, blasting away at his old guard from a distance. If he comes at me, I'll run backwards and uh, expect the line to do some of the fighting for me. So I haven't got any artillery, but that's going to be the technique really, and um, I think it's a bit of a waste of time you watching that one. But uh, anyway, I'll get the battle over and I'll show you the result. Well, that worked out exactly the way I wanted. How I managed to lose two, I really don't know. Let's have a look. It's probably the horse. Look at that. Two. They were routing. The enemy were routing when I charged in. So they've charged in against routing enemy. Um, there was no firing at them. My musketeers were all pulled back at the time. And look at that. I still managed to lose two hussars. It's just unreal, isn't it? I suppose they just, I don't know, lost their footing or something. Um, the Jaegers, the Russian Jaegers, 21 for nothing, 17 for nothing, 16 for nothing. So it worked out exactly the way I wanted it to do. It was only chasing off those routers, um, which is a bit pathetic, really. But anyway, there you go. That's the end of that one nice and easily done so um, I, I don't know what it would have given me um, as a battle result on that it, it tends to put the battles in your favor but um, but e even when you win or lose you lose a lot of casualties that's the thing so I think it's worth just hanging on to the troops that we've got really rather than risking them any further okay now what I'm going to do now is just send those up to this bridge here um, towards Warsaw uh, I know we've taken Warsaw, but I just want to build up some of the troops there in that area. Now, what I'm going to do is um, uh, put some buildings up, construct some buildings. I'm not going to spend all my money on buildings, but I do want to get a few more. Some of these um, uh, sawmills that um, are available. Here's one. Um, I, I'll just do, say, three or four buildings for now. I don't want the universities, because I'm doing pretty well with those. and um, I think I'll have all the... Um, uh, technology research by the time I get the universities really so might be a banking house along here or something whoops there you go banking house okay I'll just leave it at that leave it at the four and keep the rest of the money saved up I think so that I can use it for other things um, now the uh, if you remember those um, uh, horse let me just see if I can find out where they are they're on the road to Vilnius aren't they from Moscow uh, and is it those? Vitebsk? Let's have a look. 45 of those. Yeah, that's them, isn't it, I think? They're the um, 
they're the ones that I put in that factory. Do you remember to avoid the cold fatigue? Um, trouble is when you leapfrog them from building to building, they, they obviously don't continue moving in the direction you want them to move in. So I'm just going to get those moving now. Couldn't I was shifting those out of the way before I moved them, really, couldn't I? Let's get those over there as well, over to the bridge. Okay, and they've gone round them. Oh dear, I did that the wrong way around, didn't I? But never mind. Um, now, let's see if I can find Transylvania. That those troops would move anyway, you know, the Moscow troops as well and everything. It's it's really just the... Um, uh, I don't know why I leapt over there then. It's over here, isn't it? Transylvania. There it is. just want to get those uh, moving forward as well. Um, this is my forward position, of course. Um, add the other troops to that. Over into there. OK, we'll just sort of hold that spot for now. I don't think we can recruit particularly good troops in there anyway. No, we can't. So I won't bother any more there. The uh, merchant ships, that's... Um, where are we? These down here. I'm going to risk them. I'm going to get them over to the Spice Hub. Over here. See if we can get some decent money from spices. You make something like three times as much from spices, so you've easily got your money back once you get into that position there um, to make up for the money that you're losing from not selling whatever it is, coffee over there, I think it was. Yeah. OK. Right, well, that's the um, end of the first part of March, 1809. Who's this? Austria. Oh dear, do you know? All right, I'm not going to call my allies to help. Um, all right. Uh, Imperial on demands that we declare war. Imperial glory will shortly be won at your expense. Good day, sir. Well, I don't think so. What's going to happen is you're going to take up all my time and occupy my forces while the French are building, you fools. Uh, do you honestly think the French are going to be happy for you to remain? Oh, I don't know. I've left them alone during the whole game, I've traded with them, um, I've done nothing to upset them at all. Uh, I mean, they attacked my protectorate um, in order to um, provoke me, and, uh, and now they're declaring war on me. Why on earth would they want to declare war on me? I have no idea. If you'd have looked, by the way, at the diplomacy screen, you'd have seen that I had good relations with them. I We in positives at the time, you know, plus or whatever. So I really don't know. All I did was strengthen my borders with them, um, because obviously I need my troops around there. That's my border area, and the French are, um, you know, threatening me. OK, uh, Duran. Target Philippe Duran. Who's that? I don't remember um, targeting anybody. But um, Anyway, here we go. I've got a, an agent recruited, um, and he's here, uh, miles away from anywhere. So where am I going to put him? Uh, Mm, let's send him over to Dresden. See what that does. And uh, trade agreement cancelled Austria. Well, there's no surprise there. Let's move on to the others first. Construction report. Uh, agent recruited. We already know about uh, agent recruited. I wonder why it's telling us twice about these agents recruited. Don't quite know what happened there, but uh, anyhow. Okay, embargo act has been repealed. And, ah, I've got some more ships in the Black Sea. So let's recruit a couple more. Bring my navy out. Well, I've got plenty of ships going over now to the um, uh, the Spice Hub, so I'm going to send these over to the vacated Coffee Hub. And the others, that's these here. These are Grenadiers over in the Balkans, that's here. Um, hmm. Well, you'd have thought they'd have been fairly safe, wouldn't you, really? Um, over there, but I'm just not convinced anymore. Certainly I'm not in a position to be moving them around, I don't think. I think I'll um, keep them there at the moment, you know, just to 
sort of strengthen my army in that area. So, But I did say that I was going to bring my troops back from here, uh, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull these over to this to this bridge here to defend that area from Austria. Right, and I'm going to bring these chaps here over to reinforce um, Kutuzov. He's been doing a great job for me, expanding the empire down there. 